Hello, my wonderful friends. Now, this is another Waek nightly question I'm going to solve quickly. So, the question says solve the equation 2 over 3, 3x three plus 2 into bracket equal to 3 over 4, 2x minus 3 into bracket. So, obviously, we're going to find the value of x. So, we're going to quickly rewrite. Rewrite it here, 2 over 3, to bracket 3x, plus 2, equal to 3 over 4, 2x minus 3. So we're going to open up the brackets for each of the functions. So we say 2 over 3, 3x, plus 2 over 3, times 2 equal to 3 over 4 2x minus 3 over 4 3 so for this first part this 3 will cancel this out giving us 2x this will give us sorry This side will give us 4 over 3. While this will give us, this will cancel 2, give us 3x over 2 minus 9 over 4. So we're going to move all the equations to their like terms. So I'd like to move this to this side. And move this to this other side. So we we'll have 2x minus 3x over 2 equal to minus 9 over 4 minus 4 over 3. Minus 4 over 3. So we're going to continue on this side. We're going to continue on this side. So i write this down here to x minus 3x over 2 equal to minus 9 over 4 minus 4 over 3. So we'll get the LCM, which is 2. Alright? So 2, remember this is there's an imaginary denominator which is 2 divided by 1 gives us 2 times 2 which is 4x 2 divided by 2 gives us 1 times 3 which is 3x that's for the left hand side then for the right hand side we're going to say the LCM is 12 okay so we say 12 divided by 4 gives us 3 3 times 9 gives us 27 Remember there's a minus here. 12 divided by 3 gives us 4. 3 times 4 gives us 16. Alright? So we have here, 4x minus 3 will give us x all over 2. Now, minus 27 minus 16, remember adding negative numbers, it's like, it's like adding positive numbers. But the difference is that the result will be in negative. If you're adding two negative numbers, three negative numbers, the result is the same as if they are positive. But the difference is the answer or the result will be negative. So minus 27 minus 16 will give us minus 43 all over 12. So we want to know the value of x. So to know the value of x, we need to multiply both sides by 2. Or move to to the other side all right so we we'll have x equal to minus 43 all over 12 times 2. finally 2 cancel here 2 cancel here 6. we know that 43 will not divide 6 will not divide 43 to give us a whole number but there will be a remainder all right so it will be minus 43 
over 6 or minus 6 goes here 1, 6 goes here 7. 7 whole number 1 over 6. So the value of x is minus 7 whole number 1 over 6. So the second method of solving this problem is to take these two fractions and then cross multiply. This 3 will jump up to the right hand side while 4 will jump up to the left hand side of the equation. So let's do just that. So we have 2 times 4, alright, into bracket 3x plus 2. Then we have equal to 3 times 3 into bracket 2x minus 3. Then we also have 8 into bracket 3x plus 2 equal to 9 into bracket 2x minus 3. So if we expand or open up this bracket, it means we're going to multiply 8 into everything here. That's 3x and plus 2. And we're going to multiply 9 into 2x and minus 3. So we we'll say 8 times 3 is 24x. 8 times 2 is 16 equal to 9 times 2x is 18x minus 9 times 3 27 so we're going to collect push the like terms to a particular part of the equation so we're going to push 18 to this part and we're going to 16 to the other side so we have 24x minus 18x Okay, equal to minus 27 minus 16. So 24x minus 18x will give us what? The 6x, while this is 43. So if we divide both sides by 6, we'll have x is equal to minus 43 all over 6. So if we get, if we divide through 6 into 43, it comes out minus 7 times, remainder 1 over 6. So this is another method of solving that problem. And so there's another y exam question that is likely to come up. So you can actually be adding up your results gradually adding up your max gradually so we have 8 raised to the power x is equal to 32 find the value of x right so we know first of all we're going to reduce these numbers to their lowest possible numbers so 2 times 2 times 2 gives us 8 right raised to the power x and we know 32 is what 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 all right can we quickly check that 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 8 times 2 16 and 16 times 2 32 so how many do we have here 1 2 3 4 5 how many do we have here 1 2 3 so we have 2 raised to power 3 raised to power x and we have 2 raised to power 5. So employing the multiplication law of indices, we know we multiply 3 and x, which will give us 3x. So we say 2 raised to power 3x is equal to 2 raised to power 5. So since these two bases are the same, we can easily cancel them out to give us 3x equal to Five. You can easily get 3x equal to 5. So the value of x will be 5 over 3. Because we, must, we divided both sides by 3. So that's another question solved. So this is a likely wire question and you have earned yourself your two marks. I wish you success in your examinations. 
more grease to your elbows, more wins for you. Have a lovely day and goodbye. Holiday is coming, holiday is coming. No more teachers we no more money there. Goodbye teachers, goodbye scholars. I am going to spend my jolly holiday, my jolly holiday. We do keep quiet.